Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> hello, people. <laughs> Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Look who you have back on your screen, guys. It's the Iris Cycle. Guys, thank you very much for watching my previous video. I really appreciate it. I do not take that for granted. You guys are really amazing. You liked the video, you subscribed, you commented. Thank you very, very much for doing all of that for me. It means a whole lot to me. Thank you for your support. And for those of you who are just coming into my YouTube channel who haven't even subscribed, please subscribe to my youtube channel guys <laughs> and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up after watching or even right now right and do not forget to comment I, your opinion means a lot to me leave, leave whatever tip you want to ask in this video i appreciate it a lot i really really do appreciate it guys trust me and today let's go straight to what the, con the content i have today yeah and just before we go straight to detail of the content i thought to give you guys a tip of what exactly i have to share with you so guys here yeah here it is i'm gonna be talking to you guys i'm gonna be sharing with you guys my own experience before the pandemic during the pandemic yeah guys if you watch my introduction video i said i decided to do things yeah so i'll be giving you my own personal video yeah what what is life what it's been like for me before and during. I know we live in different cities and we have different experience, so our opinions and our own experience will differ. And those of you who don't know, you will get to know what it's like for us over here. Because I know, in as much as we live in different cities, yeah, some people have similar experience with me. Yeah. And even if you don't see me there, yeah, some of the things that yeah, you probably have experienced in wherever you can hear it. So guys, let's go straight to the news of today's content and let's see what it's been like here. I woke up one fateful morning after weeks into the lockdown as a result of the coronavirus, only to be informed that my neighbors were just handcuffed a few minutes ago. What? Some persons talked about how they were forcefully pushed into the van by first men. Long story short, my neighbors buried themselves with a sum of 3,800 pesos the following day. According to them, they were made to sleep like criminals and their offense was filed as a criminal case. I was as curious as you are right now to know what their offense could be. Their offense was having no face mask on while walking the nearby streets. Government order they said, the consequence of walking out your door without a mask. This is really way serious than we all thought. Before the pandemic, I could feel my breath pretty well. I didn't have to take in same breath that I exhale. I didn't have to wear a mask all day out and could not take it off when I felt suffocated. I didn't have to stay far from families or friends when out though. It's called social distancing but being allowed to go home, sitting and laying closely to same people with distance outdoor was perfectly fine. I didn't have to go ahead to scatter raising some cash to buy foodstuffs which was supposed to last for months, not specified. Yet, having to consume before time, as I had to stay home all day doing almost nothing. I can recall opening the refrigerator or pot when I was bored, not hungry. Over two months gone and we were still stuck indoor. Thanks to the Philippine government, we got some additional foodstuffs. I didn't have to leave my far families worrying so much about my health. Neither did I have to do same about this. I didn't have such a new prayer request about myself, home or the world. As a foreigner, I didn't have to worry so hard about the exchange rates. Although there have been times the rate was unbelievable, but never have it been this bad. 
to cause a deep breakdown. Six months through the pandemic, I was made to do those things I didn't have to do. As if that was not enough. Visa expired when the immigration was not in section. We had hoped that the fine would be waived. But no, when everything gradually got back to a little normal, we paid the additional bills when it wasn't our fault. The market had a very long queue, causing people to go in after a set is out. If I can remember vividly, every batch that goes in was timed for about 30 minutes and had to go out for the next batch. Most were closed, the school had no resumption date, the churches didn't function on site, public transportation was on hold, Coffee after 12 noon. At some point, those who went out before 12 noon were specifically adults who are not students. So far, we have online classes, church on site, transportation within cities only, no queue at the market, malls now function again, less social distancing and double face cover, shield and mask. The number of affected persons didn't get any less. It increases on a daily basis instead. But I guess we just have to live our lives at some point. Same as some situations we encounter. We are sad at first, feel broken. We thought of how long will this last. We get tired and hope soon. But when, despite all effort, we only get more frustrated, eventually we find how to live with it instead of being broken. Regardless of how okay that could be, I also hope it do not become a norm for us. But rather, my prayer is that someday, soon, our hearts and land will find super healing. <laughs>